Remove a Torx screws from the underbody cover. Locate the lower inverter coolant hose. It's right here. Transmission bushing still looks good. Remove the clamp from the hose. Be prepared to capture escaping fluid. Put the hose back on, and secure with the clamp. Remove the two bolts from the coolant expansion tank and raise the front of the reservoir to about a 30 degree angle. This will speed the initial fill process and ensure adequate initial fill volume. I like to make my own disposable funnel, from empty water bottles. I still had some of the old orange coolant laying around. And since I don't need much for the inverter system I can as well use it. I cover the surrounding area with my neighbor's t-shirt. Just in case I spill some coolant. Fill the coolant expansion tank until air bubbles stop entering the tank. Place transmission selector in park. Turn the ignition key to run, or, if equipped, press the start button. Confirm the coolant pump is running by feeling for vibration at the pump.
Watch for air bubbles entering the coolant expansion tank. Add coolant to the coolant expansion tank if the level falls below the min mark. Bleeding is complete when bubbling stops. Turn off ignition. Check and fill the coolant expansion tank until the coolant level is between the min and max marks. Don't forget to put the bolts back on. They are 10 mm. Torque them to 8 Nm. Make sure you slide the underbody cover over the two metal plates, before you screw it on. I'm 50,000 miles late with my change.